Hello and welcome back, it's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth and today we're going to be playing Separated in the Fog. Now I've been really enjoying some of the recent uh, features we've had, a full deck and missing a few cards and I'm really excited to be playing yet another puzzle from them, this time another two-star difficulty rated puzzle, being a weekend after all. Now you can see based on the title, although you, you don't see it necessarily because I put um, my video here but when you see the grid you're gonna see a whole bunch of Nabner lines which I assume is why well you're gonna see Nabner lines you're gonna see fog hence the title so clearly the clue here about Nabner lines is you can't actually have consecutive digits now as a result you can see Sleuth and I guess his partner detective are separated in the fog there you can see him right there in the distance in the background and Sleuth is wondering what's going on They've lost each other, they have to find one another once again. Anyway, let's take a look at the puzzle and the rule sets for today. So, separated in the fog by full deck and missing a few cards. You've got the following set of rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply, that means place the digits 1 to 9 once each in every row, in every column, and in every 3x3 three three box. Fairly standard. The fog, part of the grid is covered with fog. As correct digits are placed, the fog will reveal from cells surrounding the correct digit, revealing additional clues. Now, they're really emphasizing this. There is always enough information in the revealed portion of the grid to place another correct digit without guessing. Digits can be placed within the fog. Okay. Um, so if this cell here was, let's say, a 2, um, then all of these cells, which are fog will be revealed and hopefully gives us more clues around where we're meant to go next. Nabner lines. So if you didn't already know that Nabner is just Remban reversed and they do exactly the opposite of what Rembans do. So these lines, which are the golden lines here, no two digits along a Nabner line can be consecutive regardless of their position and digits may not repeat on Nabner lines. So, for example, if this cell here is a 2, I can't put 1 or 3 in there. Forget the cage for a second. As long as the digit is consecutive, you're in trouble. And it doesn't matter where on the Nabner line, no digits can be consecutive. So no 3 here either. I can put a 4, but then again, I can't put a 5 next to it either because that would be consecutive with a 4, nor 1, nor 3. Right. Last but not least, we've got cages. Digits in cages cannot repeat and must sum to the value shown in the leftmost cell of the topmost row of the cage. So, uh, well, this is the 12 cage. These two cells must add up to 12. If that was a three, this would have to be nine to make sure that these two cells add up to 12. You can see that these two cages are sort of drifting off into the distance. We don't know how big they are. So, only thing left to say is, um, if you want to play along, if you want to help Sleuth and Sleuth get back together and not be separated by the fog, link will be in the description down below as usual for you to play along. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock, see how I get on. So the seven cage is interesting because it's saying digits in cages cannot repeat. So that means that this seven cage is a maximum of three cells. The fact that they cannot repeat means if it is four cells, well, one, two, three, four would be the minimum, and they'll add up to ten. So that's one, two, four. Uh, the ten cage now becomes interesting. So if you think about the ten cage, if it doesn't have low digits, and forget the fact that this is at least a three-cell cage, if not four. If it doesn't have low digits, the next set of digits, because, and I say it doesn't have low digits, because it can see, these two cells can see all three. So they can see all of them, all of one, two, and four. Now, if I don't use a three, the next set of digits will be five and six at a minimum, let alone the fact that this is a three-cell cage. So this is at least a three, in here, there, corner pencil mark. And then if you have a three, we need a seven, but it's not a seven because it's a three cell cage. 
So it's either 3, 5, which would make it 8, which would force a 2. So let me sort of show you what I'm thinking. It's either 3, 5 with a 2. I don't think this can be a 4-cell cage because the other digit that's in here is not 1, 2, 3, or 4. So it's at least 3, 5 with a 2 or 3, 6 with a 1, which makes this 1, 2, 4. One of these two cells is a four. And one of, and this is definitely a three in here. Right, does it make the 12 cages now interesting? Probably. Let's have a think about it. So I think it's much more likely that the six is in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. I'll, 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 I'll voice this up sort of fairly quickly. So the 12 cage, where do I put nine? Any of these two cell 12 cages, if I put a nine inside it, I have to partner up with a three, which as you can see is gone. So where does nine go in box two? Uh, first digit at minute two, that's a nine. Not very useful because you know we can see everything around it. But at the same time, if I put a six in any of these 12 cages, I'm in trouble because I need a second six with it. And that obviously will break Sudoku rules. So there has to be a 6 in here. That's not a 5. This is a 3, 6. That is a 1 to get to a 10. These are not 1s. That is a 1. And now I'm left in here with 4, 8, and 5, 7, which makes this a 2, a 4, and I don't know if I can actually distinguish which one is 4, 8, and which one is 5, 7. So add up to 12. Can I? Yeah, yeah, of course I can. Nabners, sleuth, pay attention. That 9 means there is no 8 on these lines. That's the 4, 8. That's the 5, 7. And we may as well carry on using these Nabners. So this cell here is not 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, or 4, or 1 for that matter. So this Nabner line almost certainly ends at this cell because I basically, you know, once I put a three in here or a two, there are no more digits I can put on this lambda line without them being consecutive with something I've already placed. So this is two or three. You can see the 14 cage. I mean, that nine tells us if it is a nine, five, nine, it'll be five and nine in that direction. If it's a six, eight, well, that six or three, six pair would tell us that would be the six. That would be the eight. Is there a way of distinguishing them? I'm sure there is a way of distinguishing them. Is there a way I can figure out of distinguishing them? Maybe that's the better question. Um, sleuth, maybe, can you think? Sorry, I just need a moment. I'm sure it's now about Nabner lines, but I'm not entirely sure I see the way just yet. The fog is thick in this puzzle. So two, so like one is up here, where I don't think I can be in trouble having it on the 12th cage. So I say 12th cage on this Nabner line. Where does three go? I mean, I really need to figure out which one of these two cells, which one is this cell, is it, if it's a two or a three, so I can actually use it in Sudoku. If it's a two, then two would be here. Well, two can't be there because of the one and the damn there. If it's a three, well, three would be here. So this cell is two or three. This cell, in essence, can't be in here, can't be there because of the two, three pencil marks, can't be on the Nabner line, it's here. It's 
it's not quite good enough if I'm honest. Right, let's go down a bit of a spiral. So you can see that if this is a five, nine cage, that's quite tough. That would have to be five. That would have to be a an eight, because it can't be a four next to the five on an abner. Then I need two digits that are not consecutive with eight or five. So nine, eight, seven, six, five, and four are all not allowed. So that would have to be one, three, which so far, so far is possible. And that would be five, that would be nine, that would be four, eight. Eights are not here. That would be seven, five. So far looking possible. I don't know how to discount which one it is. Am I missing something that's meant to be obvious? I'm not seeing it. Interesting. So the two three that still can't be here. There's a second two three on this Nabner. Sleuth, just pay attention. This Nabner goes into the fog and it has a four on it. That's just Sudoku. Now, joining that four is a two or a three. I can tell you it is not a three on a Nabner. So there is a two, which makes this a three, which makes this the three. And, and, and twos are now up here as well with the one. So clearly one of them is going to hide in here and then one of them is on this Nabner line. And that tells us that it's no longer a five, eight setup because that needed to have one three. They're not threes. So this is six and eight. Um, does it actually help me with my fours and eights? That's fine. Up here is something. This is five, seven. What have I got left? Five, seven or eight. Eight goes on this side. This is now two, four, eight. This is another five, seven, and you know, can't be a, set, a five anymore next to the four. That's a seven. Two, four, eight, 22 cage when I place that three. So this is, it's got a nine at least in it. And then it's joined with either six, seven or five, eight. Guess which cell this is? Eight. None of these are eights. This is now five, nine. Can I actually distinguish them? Surely I can. Two and four, six and seven. Incredibly not resolved, any of them. What's going on? Of course it is. Five, seven, six, seven. Uh, there is essentially one, two with a five, nine. I've got a six on this Nabner line. It is not a five. So it is a nine with a one, two. The five is hiding in here. That's a nine. The fact that there's a nine on here tells me that this is a four. This is an eight. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. And what am I meant to put down here? Five. And then one, two, nine. Don't need all of these pencil marks anymore. And it can be either one or two. Fortunately. Right. The 15 cage and the 9 cage are calling. So this cannot be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's a 9. That's a 9. These two cells have to add up to 6 plus the 9 to get to 15. They're either 2, 4, or 1, 5. Both are possible at the moment.
You know when puzzles require you to be doing Sudoku alongside the variants, they tend to be my biggest weakness and my goodness, this puzzle is really forcing you to be, essentially there's four rules and you have to be using them all constantly at the same time. And that is clearly not my forte. Right, I did say this is one five or two four. It is not a three. These are not threes. Threes in one of these three cells. Actually, better still, 10 cage in at least three cells, at least. Could be four cells. No, it's not four cells because whichever, mm, it could be. No, it's not four cells because I can see that these two are not one, two, or four. And you can't have three, as in one, two, three, four, if this is a four cell cage in two cells. So this is a three cell 10 cage which requires one or two. If you don't have one or two, the next three cells will be three, four, five, which are 12, too big. The one and two are not in here. This is one or two. Three is stuck to the side as such. We have a now a one, two pair in column three. We have a virtual one, two with the 15 cage, because essentially whichever one of these is not a one, two, then we have a one, five or two, four in here. Now the one, two, if this is a one, I need a nine, and I don't have one, two, or four, so this would have to be three, seven, and that three tells me that's three, that's seven. Now the other possibility, if it's a two, not a one, still requires a three, five. Three, five, three, seven, three, six, excuse me. And that would still place three in here, regardless, and that would be a five. Tricky puzzle, tricky puzzle. 13 cage, goodness me. Still not resolved, 1524. 5-6 is still not known. Yeah, maybe I should just move on. If this is a 2-4K, just a Nabner line. Sleuth, come on, come on. Um, and 6-8 in the column, and this is a 3 cells. So if this is 2-4, what would this one be? 6 and 8 are gone. I could, of course, put 7. Right, it's fine. It's not that. That is not the solution. 9-K. So if this... So same kind of question that I have with the 10, it has either a one or a two, because it's essentially it's either two, three, four, or one plus two cells that add up to eight. Now notice this one, if it exists, it's not in here, it's not there, it would be in here. Followed by two cells that add up to seven, which are either two, six, or three, five, they all look possible to me. No, they can't be. If this is a one, two, six, neither of them can be because it's Nabner, Nabner. Three, five, is that even possible? It would be three and five, as long as that is a six. So that it doesn't conflict with the three. So that seems entirely plausible. Excuse me. <coughs> now, the other possibility is this is a 2, 3, 4. Which I'm going to say it isn't because of this Nabner line. Well, I'd have to have 2 and 4 on here. That is a 3 regardless again. And these could be 2, 4s. Yep, it's a 1, 2, 4 in the cage. 2, 4, 5 in here. I feel like these should be resolvable so I can make some progress. Come on. 13 cage. Where does 9 go? 9 is in one of two cells. If it's in here, it's inside the 13 cage. 
with two cells that add up to nine, which will be one, three, which it isn't. That's a nine. Eight's not here. Can I have eight with five in here? That would be one, four. That's possible. Eight is in one of two cells. Nine is in one of two cells. How are we doing for time? So I'm recording this like a few minutes before when I should be posting it. So looking at how slow I am to dissolve, I am so sorry, but this video is clearly going to be a little bit late. <clears throat> Unless I can think a little bit harder and finish it soon. But to be fair, with my internet speed, I'm not going to even upload it, be able to upload it in a timely fashion. Yeah, I'm I'm stuck. Two four is fine. One five is fine. Is the clue the rest of the Nabner line? I'm not not getting it. So you see five is not here. We should put five there. If I put three, if it's not this, if this is not one five, the three five would be here. This would be six, and that would be one, and that would be two four. I think everything will be hunky dory, so to speak. <clears throat> and if this is two four, that would be one. That would be six. Three five. Sorry, if this is one five. That would be two, that would be five. That's also fine. And I can even put the three here. Sleuth. Two, four doesn't work. Because, yeah, that would be one, that would be six. Five would have to be here, including three, five. Which one of these two cells could be consecutive on the Nabner line with two, four? None of them. This is one, five which makes this a two, which makes this a six, sorry, a five, sleuth, pay attention. One of these is a three, fortunately either works. Love to see what this cage is. Four, none of these cells, not here. Four is in one of two cells. <clears throat> right, surely the 13 cage now is interesting. Like I've got a lot of digits down. If it doesn't include a one, my next set of digits would be two, four, and seven. And the two would have to be here, the seven would have to be there, and that would have to be a four, which I'm guessing might break this Nabla line. Sorry, two, four, seven, is that forced? I think so, because I really went for the minimum available digits if it doesn't include a one. If I put a four in here, excuse me again, <coughs> it breaks my 1, 5, because 4 will be consecutive with the 5, and 2, 4. That is not a 2, 7, 4, 13 cage. <coughs> it must have a 1, which means that is not a 1, which means this is 2, 4, 2, 3, 4, 9 cage. There is a 1 in here. Then I need two digits to add up to 12. 3, 9 is not available. 5, 7 is not available. This is 1, 4, 8. 8, you can see, is not here. And that's the 8. 1 and 4. These two cells, oh, actually 1 and 4 gives me 2, gives me 4. Not very helpful because all the fog around them are cleared. And these two cells are 6 and 7. Not resolved. 4... Four, eleven cage. <coughs> Excuse me. Same trick again with the eleven cage. I need a one or a two. Again, three, four, five, two big. One and two cannot be in these cells. One or two are in here. It is not a four cell cage because that would have to be one, two, three, five. And you can see they're not allowed. <coughs> So, that's a 1 I need to add up to 10, 2, 4, that would have to be 3, and 7. 
on this Nabner line that does work. If it's a 2, I need to add up to 9, which I think would have to be 3, 6, because 1, 8 is not available, 2, 7 is not available, 4, 5 is not available, 3 and 6, and a 6 breaks the Nabner line because it's consecutive with a 5. That's a 1, that's a 3, that's a 7. That is not a 3. These two cells are now known. They are 6 and 8. That 6, 7 tells me the order. That's 6. <clears throat> that's 8. That's 2, giving me 1, giving me 2. Progress. So, I mean, the video will be a little late, just not very late. Right, we know what this digit is. It is 5. This can no longer be a 9 next to an 8 on an abnormal line. That's the 9. These two cells are known. They include a 6 and a 7. They're not resolved. <clears throat> These include 1, 2, and 8. That is not a 1. That is not an 8. That 4 actually gives me 2 and 4. 1, 2, that gives me an 8. That is not an 8. 1 and 2 not resolved. This 15 cage... Um, you can see the 8 and 9, actually, sleuth, 8 doesn't give me a, a 7 next to it, that's a 6, that's a 7, 7, 8 and 9 all in here, that is a 6, that is a 9, excuse me, <coughs> sorry, you can see I'm a little bit under the weather, all right, these two cells are 6, 9, 9, not 8. These three cells are 2, 4, and 7. The 21 cage is interesting. The 9 cage is interesting. Can I resolve these? <coughs> I'm not sure. Yes, I can. 3 on an abnormal line means that that's a 6. That's a 3. These, on the other hand, I can't resolve. This one here, we need a 1, a 3, <clears throat> excuse me, and a 4, I'm going to say. If that's a 1, that would be a 2, that doesn't work. If that's a 3 or 4, this is 1 or 2, that's fine. 1 is inside the 9 cage not joined with an 8, mind you. So that 9 cage is 3 cells. It could be going in any direction to get to that. Uh, these two cells, they are 5 and 7. So 1, even with a 3, that would be 4. That could be a 5, so that is very possible. And in fact, there's another 5 on this side as well. There's a second 6, 7, a 5, and a 2. The 2 is not here, nor the 5. 2, 5, because it would be consecutive with 1 or 4. This is 6 or 7. It is not a 6. That's a 7. That is a 6. That is a 7. <clears throat> Frustratingly, that 9 cage can point in either direction because essentially it's 1, 3, and a 5. It's not a 4. It's a 1, 3. That's a 4. Got two and seven and four now looking at a two. No twos. The twenty-one cage is probably going to be the one that helps us solve this all. This is now three eight three five eight. These two, three cells, they are one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. <clears throat> that is not a six. Not a 9 either. Sorry, I'm being a bit slow today. Right, on this Nabner line is definitely a 6 and a 9. That can't be a 5. That's a 2. That's a 5. That helps me with the 9, nine cage, thankfully. That's a 7. That's a... Come on, sleuth, 5. 6, 9 pair. 6, 9 pair. Have I made an error? I don't think I have. How am I going to resolve this? Not sure. I'm not. I'm not going to worry about it just yet. I'm just going to move on. 
these are fives, oh, the 21 cage, of course. Seven, these have to add up to 14. Guess which two numbers add up to 14 in here? It's the six and eight, which gives me a nine, which resolves this six, nine. That gives me the four and seven, that was there. That was a three, that is a one, that is a three. Right, we're definitely gonna be able to solve this now. This is a three. These two cells are one and four. Four, one, two, one. And then to finish up, I need a two. And if I've not made any mistakes, an eight for the finish. Beautiful puzzle once again. Full deck and missing a few cards. Yeah, these types of puzzles, I absolutely need to be practicing more. You know, puzzles that require you to use all the rule sets is just... Uh, my Achilles heel for sure. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video and the puzzle. See you back for the next one. Fingers crossed on time. Apologies, I'm not necessarily even going to promise that. Bye-bye for now.